How to get relief from hiatus hernia. Welcome to the hiatus hernia master course. In this course, you will discover many of the ideas, information, and methods that nutrition and natural medicine has about hiatus hernia. This course will give you a better idea of what you are up against when you have a hiatal hernia and many things you can do to get relief or eliminate it. All about hiatal hernia. Hiatus hernia and hiatal hernia are the same conditions. This hernia can occur by up to 50% of all adults. And of those that develop hiatus hernia, 50% are older than 50 years. However, women and overweight individuals frequently experience a hiatus hernia. Many people do not know that they have a hiatus hernia because it often has symptoms related to other illnesses or diseases. A hiatus hernia occurs for many reasons. And in this course, you will discover what they are and how you can avoid them. In this course, the main issue is how can you make your lower esophageal sphincter lay valve stronger? This valve is a muscle that can develop a weakness due to the way you live. You can also learn how to make this valve stronger to prevent a hiatus occurrence. The overall focus of this course is on improving the function of your digestive system. This system is quite complicated, so most of the concentration will be on making your lay valve stronger to reduce the gas pressure against the lay valve due to poor diet, digestion, absorption, and elimination, and lifestyle. There are specific natural remedies and supplements that help deal with a hiatal hernia, which will be revealed. Many of you may have already tried many remedies with some success or some failure. Many of the recommendations here are from a nutritional and natural remedy perspective and are for your education and should not be considered doctor's advice. The information here on hiatus hernia will help you be part of your healing in conjunction with a doctor if you have one. Hi, Rudy Silva, here to start this hiatus hernia master course. This is the first video for this course and we will cover what is a hiatus hernia? What is the lower esophageal sphincter? The three different types of hiatus hernia. So, let's get going. Hiatus hernia. Hiatus hernia occurs when your stomach pushes back up into your esophagus or chest diaphragm. This occurs near the lower esophageal sphincter, lay. The opening of the aperture of the lay is called hiatus. If the lay muscles and tissue become weak due to various strains and pressures, the lay becomes compromised. This weakness allows the upper stomach to move into the esophagus and sets the stage for acid reflux. Lower esophageal sphincter. The lay controls the passage of food from your esophagus into your stomach. It closes after you have eaten food so that your stomach contents will remain in your stomach and it can't move back up into your esophagus. When you have a hiatus hernia, you will most likely have acid reflux or heartburn. If you have frequent bouts with acid reflux, you will be prone to esophageal tissue damage, leading to an ulcer and perhaps cancer. A hiatal hernia can be serious, but there are some cases where it's not. However, if you have severe acid reflux or other persistent health symptoms, then your hernia is more problematic. However, many people have hiatal hernia and experience few or no symptoms. A mild case of hernia is still something you need to correct. When you have a hiatal hernia, the function of the lay is weakened and can fail to keep stomach content from flowing back into your esophagus. If your lay is healthy and you still have a hiatus hernia, then some changes in diet and lifestyle need to be considered. Hiatus hernia categories. There are three categories of hiatal hernia, reducible, incarcerated, and strangulated. In the reducible hernia, it is possible to push back the displaced stomach into its original position by gentle pressure from outside of your body. A doctor should only do this gentle pressure. Once your stomach is back in place, the diet, natural remedies, and supplements listed here will help you maintain a healthy stomach condition. In the incarcerated category, the out of place stomach cannot be pushed back manually since it adheres to the surrounding tissue. The incarcerated hernia is not considered diseased or severe, but something that needs to be corrected. Using natural methods, 
will help you eliminate this type of hernia. In the strangulated hernia, the stomach or esophagus tissues are tightly caught in the position they are in, and their blood supply is cut off. In this type of hernia, the tissue will eventually die. This is not typical, but when it does happen, surgery will be required. Final thoughts and ideas. A hiatus hernia occurs when your stomach pushes up into your esophagus at the stomach esophagus junction called the lower esophageal sphincter or lay valve. There are many reasons you have a hiatus hernia and to cure this condition, you need to make many changes in your lifestyle. I am here to help you understand your condition and give you the nutritional advice to help overcome your hernia. Many people have a hiatal hernia and are not aware of it. In this course, you will discover many of the symptoms related to hiatus. So, you can determine if you have this condition or not. There are three types of hiatal hernia, which are reducible, incarcerated, and strangulated. All the nutritional, natural remedies, supplements, and lifestyle recommendations are useful for reducing all three hiatal hernia types. Remember, to always work with a doctor when you have a hiatus hernia. Let's head over to the next video.